how to use Taskade. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Taskade. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and enter Taskade.com. Or you can simply type on Google Taskade and click the first link that come up. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. But if you don't know anything about Taskade, you can scroll down and find the description of this platform. Since Taskade is a collaboration and task management platform that allows teams to work together, manage projects, and stay organized. It also provides a flexible workspace where users can create and organize task, project, and to-do lists. And aside from that, you can also get Taskade on any device such as on Android, iOS, MacBook, Windows, Linux, and many more. And aside from that, it also have an AI productivity, in which you can get work done 10 times faster with AI, powered by chatbot, writing assistant, and workflow creation. And with this, you can also generate tasks, outlines, mind maps, and more. And now that you know about Taskade, you can now start creating your account or logging in with your existing Taskade account by clicking the button which is located on the top right corner in which upon doing so, you will be directed in here. And from here, you can log in using your Google account, your Apple ID, or by entering your username or email address and your password. But in this video, I'm gonna choose to sign in with my Google account. So kind of click on it and the next thing that you need to do is to choose your Google account. And after that, you're going to answer some question is how do you plan to use Taskade? In which you have three options such as for work, for education, and for personal. So I'm going to choose education. So just proceed by clicking the continue button. And under this create a workspace, you can enter your workspace name and you can choose the background color that you want. And after that, just proceed by clicking the continue button. And after that, it will enable you to invite your teammates, in which all you need to do is to enter their email address. And as you can see here, you can enter at least maximum of three email address, in which you can also assign their tasks such as editor or just viewer. And after that, just proceed by clicking invite and continue button. And the next thing that you need to do is to choose your first projects, in which you can choose to do a team notes, weekly task, meeting agenda, mind map, and many more. And after selecting your first project, you can proceed by clicking Get Started button. And as you can see, you are now in a homepage of Taskade, in which you can also see or explore your workspace, such as your projects and the other details inside of each project, in which you can also customize the design and the content of each project, in which as you can see on the left side panel, under our workspace, you can see the list of the project, such as team notes, weekly task, meeting agenda, mind map, and many more. And you can simply click on each of the project in order to edit or customize the design or the content of each project. However, aside from the workspace, you can also find on the left side panel some of the options that might help you to create a task or customize a design, such as the recent option in which from here, you will see some of the project that you previously opened. You can also change the filter or category such as by owned by anyone, owned by me, not owned by me, member of spaces, and not member of spaces. And aside from recent option, you can also access the My Task option, in which from here, you can navigate all the tasks that you are required to do today, past due, upcoming, or even the data or task that has no date. While under the workspace and folders, you can either choose all or specific workspace that you want to open. And aside from that, you can also navigate the task that is assigned to nobody or assigned by me. While the other options on the left side panel is this calendar, in which under the calendar, you will see the task that is assigned or due today, next day, or next week but you can also filter or narrow it down into a specific workspace. 
You can also choose the category, such as for me, for others, and for everyone. While the calendar itself, you can narrow it down by month, week, or even a day. Or even a previous day, today, and for the next day. Which is very helpful in order to highlight some of the important details, events, or even tasks that is due today. While the other option on the left side panel is the start option in which it is an option that is typically used to mark or highlight important or high-priority tasks on some project. And using this option, you can identify your priority and visualize emphasis and to have a quick access. While the other option on the left side panel is this shared with me option, in which in this option, you will see the list of the project that you can access such as to edit or just to view. And using this option, you can easily access to shared content and streamline collaboration, including organization and tracking, collaborative editing and feedback, and even permissions management. Now going back to our workspace, from here you will see other options that you can choose or select in order to create a project or task. And aside from that, you can also create or add your new folder. While under the workspace, you will see the project option, task, roadmap, templates, and completed. And in order to add a project, just click this button on the top right corner in order to create a new project. But if you want to create a new workspace, you can just proceed by clicking the plus button, which is located on the left side panel. And other than that, you can also find the search button, in which from here, you can search all the projects, comments, and workspaces by simply entering the type of task, in which you can search across all of your workspaces, folders, and projects. And aside from that, you can also find on the left side panel, the help option, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And under the help center, you have the option to go to frequently asked question for task aid, video guides, and community. Or you can type on search bar some of the issue or concern that you're currently experiencing. Or you can simply click this icon or option that says contact us, in which you can raise your concern regarding the issue that you're currently having. And aside from that, going back on the left side panel, you can also see the settings option, in which you can see the account, password, connected accounts, and session, in which under the profile account, you will see some of the personal information, including your email address, your name, your last name, your username, and your profile picture, in which you can change the profile picture by clicking Upload Photo. But you can also explore some of the options such as password, connected accounts, and sessions. While on the left side panel, under the settings, you can explore about billing, credits, integration, notification, archives, and many more. So that is just how to use Taskade. Thank you.